Um, so I just needed to get something off my chest about the complexities of living life in Los Angeles. I'm an introvert. I'm a reserved person. I am someone that values her personal space and time very much. But because of my career aspirations, I have chosen to live in one of the most expensive, densely populated places in the country, Los Angeles, California. I want to write, I want to get on a show, I want to be a story producer for Unscripted, and I just want to do development work for the rest of my career. And getting staffed on a TV show, whether it's post-production for a, a, a non-scripted series or in the writer's room for a scripted series, it's extremely difficult to get placed unless you have IP that the studios want or you're, you're just that far up in your career. So, yeah. so, because of the ups and downs in my career, I don't always make show money. Show money, which is money that I make on the shows, would allow me to live by myself, would allow me to spend more money on rent so I could live alone. And for two and a half years, I was able to do that. You know, I lived in a, basically a bachelor apartment, didn't have a kitchen, but I had a good sized bathroom and a walk-in closet, and I made it work. I left because a person who was running that property was a slumlord. Laundry, you know, washer and dryer wouldn't work, and instead of fixing it, he just let it fly for three months while I'm paying full rent. I had black mold, I had mice, like that place was a nightmare. When the mice came, I knew it was time for me to get out. So I'm here, I'm in a shared living situation in Mid-City. I love the location, I've got plenty of room for my plants, it has all the amenities I want. I have on-site laundry that I don't have to pay for, and it's pretty cool. The problem is I live with five other people. And some of those people think that because we all live together under one roof and we pay rent to the same person, that it's time to relive your old college memories and come out of your room and start chatting up people that live here. I didn't like that shit when I was in college and I don't like it now as a woman that's deep into her 30s. I work hard. I'm trying to make a name for myself in this industry and put my content out there. And a lot of my time is spent in front of this laptop producing content. When I come home, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to chit chat. I don't want to know how your day went. I don't want you in mine. When I'm in the kitchen, I don't spend but 15 minutes in there. And then before I hear the door creak open, I'm thinking to myself, why is this door open? I waited for you to finish what you were doing in the kitchen. I wait. When my room, housemates need to cook and they're in the kitchen, I give them their space. If I accidentally walk into the kitchen and someone's in there, I walk right out because you need your time to yourself. As long as you're not holding up for hours at a time and not letting anyone else come into the kitchen, you're fine. Um, and I do that and I really, I had to have a conversation with someone who just moved in here and I said, listen, I'm not trying to stop you from doing what you need to do, but I need my space. I prefer to cook alone when I'm in the kitchen. So I will come back and when you're done. And it really felt good to get that off my chest because in the beginning, like I wouldn't tell people that and I don't want people to think it's a personal issue or that I'm trying to be difficult. It's just that, listen, I work my ass off. I don't want to be bothered when I come home. This whole Corona shutdown, quarantine in place thing has made it so that I can't go outside and get my social needs met. I prefer to compartmentalize my personal life, my professional life, and my home life. And I don't want those three things missing, mixing, especially if I, I just don't feel a connection with you. Like there's no need to fake it. There's no need to like make appointments to come see each other when we're in the kitchen. It's just, it's invasive. And I understand that people have things to do, but be considerate and let people finish what they need to do in the kitchen before you come in. We're dealing with so much when we come out into the world. We're dealing with mental health issues, you know, a government that fails to take care of its citizens in the middle of a global pandemic and social uprising. Uh, we have more debt, student loan debt, than our predecessors. We can't buy homes. We can't do really anything. It takes a great deal of 
personal perseverance to overcome the traps that have been set before you. Another reason why I feel the way that I do is because there was a creep that lived here. When I moved in, I was cordial with everyone. I said hi. But I have realized that you can't say hi to people without them thinking you want to spend time with them. And that's just not the case. I don't want to spend time with you. Um, this asshole would come out of his room. He worked from home. And for a t short period of time, I did. I worked outside the home. So he worked from home and he had the whole, the kitchen at his disposal most of the day. But he came out when I was in the kitchen wanting to linger, wanting to have conversations, literally cooking right beside me. He'd bring his bad bodied girlfriend into the kitchen to cook. And I'm just like, no. And I should have said something then. But after having a brief conversation about, okay, well, you need the kitchen. I'll come back. It's too small for both of us, all three of us to be in here. I'll be back. He kept doing it. And so finally, I looked at that door and I was like, this door locks and it closes. So I locked and closed the door. And because I was so sick of him, I would not open the door if I knew it was him knocking. But he was just a creep, just lingering and trying to make conversation. So when I didn't open the door fast enough, this creep duct tapes the door so that I can't lock it again. You know, like that's just some next level fuckery and creep creepitude i never got a good vibe from him ever this asshole was always knocking on my door at 10 30 at night like i don't know what the fuck you need from me at 10 30 at night and the day that i found out he left was the happiest day of my life so going forward i just want a harmonious relationship with my roommates but that does not mean that i want to hang out that does not mean that when i'm cooking my food i want to see you i understand that you have things to do but i think we can all benefit from just being patient and giving people their space if you need to grab something from the kitchen that's fine but we're not cooking together and you don't need to be here in an extended period of time in the kitchen breathing in this small ass space in the middle of COVID-19 living with these people is motivating me to get my money together so that I don't have to live with anybody else ever again so wish me luck and send me lots of prosperity <laughs> bye welcome to LA